in and again good morning and um, if you didn't um, already grab a strap or a towel or something like that go ahead and do that and we're gonna do a little bit of um, neck adjustment neck opening um, you know if you're working on of course your desk or computer or just pretty much anything we end up or just looking at your phone you know you end up having this forward bend neck usually um, so this is just an exercise that's going to help us to um, adjust the neck. So if you have a strap or a towel, whatever it is, my strap's really long, so I'm going to kind of double it up a bit. And you might want to do that too, because it's going to go around, around the neck. So we're going to go ahead and begin right here, right around the neck. Yeah. And just try to sit up straight. And you're not going to pull forward too much just to start just a little bit. And this is an exercise you can do uh, multiple times a day. You can, if you're working at your computer, you can do this um, regularly, take little neck breaks, um, and you, or you can just do it like in the morning or in the evening. So you just kind of pull forward and then just gently nod the head back and up. And that's all you're doing. You're not going to go forward with the head. It's going to go back and up. And the strap is really stabilizing the neck. And what this does is it helps, the neck should have a curve like this, and it helps to open up the discs and the vertebrae and really get good blood flow and um, keeps nourishing the nerves in the neck. So very good to do this um, regularly. And we'll just do, you could do it for like a minute, you know, or just 30 seconds or whatever. Um, throughout your day anything that feels good just try not to dip into your lower back especially those of us who have issues with the lower back we're going to be working on the sacrum as well today right and just do a few dipping back good and if you want to hold back for like a breath or two and maybe rock the head right to left go ahead and do that you'll notice where your tightness is Good. And then you can come into center and we'll drop the strap down and yay. So we got that all worked out of the neck for a little bit. And we're going to come into child's pose. So we're going to begin our practice in child's pose, just kind of sending those hips back and reaching the arms forward and get this really good elongation. So we want to have the thighs back, the chest forward. So go ahead and unstick the chest here and just start to reach the sides and the front of the chest forward and the shoulder blades down the back and let your head drop to the floor or the yoga block and just find your breathing. So find your inhale and your exhale and allow the ribs to those margins of the ribs to come down right in toward the pelvis as you breathe in and breathe out and start to feel a side lateral breathing. So the ribs move sideways as you breathe in and they move back inward as you breathe out and start to feel that that movement of the breath so the diaphragmatic movement and one more time breathing in and breathing out beautiful and so we're going to come up and make our way up onto our feet and roll ourselves up into standing we'll do a quick little exercise for the sacrum just in a an awareness of where the sacrum is and the pelvis, and then we're gonna move into our practice, okay? So if you put your hands on the rim of your hips here, you know, those um, hip crests, the iliac crests, those hip bones, pelvic bones, you wanna make sure one's not higher than the other. So if one's higher than the other, you might have an issue with the sacrum where you could just have that longer side, but just try to do your best to align and even out. And if you go back here into the, below the belt line and above the glute, you know, you want to feel those little dip points, those two little points with your thumb, and they should be even, that should be the SI joint, and one should not be higher than the other. And sometimes the SI joint gets really locked up and really tight, and so that when we go into our movements where your thumbs are, the SI joint one will slip like that. Um, so maybe at the beginning right now of the exercise, you're standing and it feels nice and even, but then as you go through the stretch, like a forward bend, it slips and then you can even it out again. So we're going to try to keep it aligned. You just put your hands on your hips here and just on the SI joint and just start to come forward and notice if one moves higher than the other. 
your thumbs start to change or anything like that and try to keep that nice and even and then we're going to roll back up so you're just going to feel what's going on with the hips okay we're just going to do that a couple more times just get this awareness because we're going to use that attention and awareness throughout the class for the pelvis and it may change your practice you may notice that you're able to reach into something to feel something different, right? So we'll just try it one more time. Just start to come down, especially in poses where one leg is out, one leg is back, like say pigeon pose or a warrior or something like that. And then rise up, okay? And so we'll keep that awareness back there as you bring the arms up and come into our mountain pose and let that head drop back. So you're thinking about that neck extension. You're looking at the thumbnails as you breathe in and breathe out. So your breath is the key to relaxing the nervous system, but your awareness is on that body alignment, shoulders, hips, and neck. And as we stretch open the arms and the chest gets open, we come down, but being aware of the hips, right? That pelvis and that sacrum in the back. And just go ahead and bring the hands down to the floor, the legs, or the yoga blocks. And if you're not ever sure about the sacrum, just put your hands back on it and try to feel that alignment. Now we're gonna do this little bending and straightening of the knees like one at a time, and that's gonna slant your SI joints. That's gonna slant your hips right to left. And you want it to happen at that point where your thumbs were, not at the mid back. So you want the SI joint is a little bit of mobilization, not a ton. So we just definitely wanna to start to feel you know, a tiny bit of mobilization. If it's stuck or frozen in that SI joint, then your back will start to feel the movement rather than the hip area. All right, so let's even the hips out, bring the legs nice and strong and come down with the head, shake it out. Everything is nice and strong. Come into that halfway lift, inhale through the chest. Exhale, forward fold again, come a little bit deeper into the stretch. Inhale, halfway lift, lift up and out through the chest. Exhale, come a little bit deeper. And one more time, inhaling up. And exhale, come a little bit deeper. From here, we go right into plank pose. So we're gonna stretch back into plank and start to activate the core. So pulling the chest forward and hugging the belly in nice and strong. So we're gonna drop that right knee down, spin your shin behind you, lift that left arm and pull this arm up across the chest like you're pulling a bow and arrow and you're stretching the other one down. So you wanna pull that bicep all the way down and out toward that pinky finger while you do the same with the other one. So again, let it happen at the shoulders and the upper back and not happening at that mid back. See if you can align your pelvis. And when I say that, I mean where your thumbs were at the SI joint. So align the pelvis and breathe in and breathe out. So just get that good opening, activate through the glutes, take the top arm way over the head and keep pulling that bottom arm as you stretch open the side of the chest. So again, you wanna to try to make it more here, the chest, rather than at that waist. So trying to open that chest up and tricep as you breathe in and breathe out and come back down into plank position. So bring the hands down, wrists right under shoulders, chest is open, breathing in, breathing out. Now we'll have that left knee come down, Spin the shin and you'll turn the other way. I'm just gonna turn so I can see you guys. But you're gonna turn that other way and pull this arm up. Make sure that bicep is open and stretch. So again, you're pulling the chest, trying hard not to pop the rib cage out and dipping into that mid back. Make sure you align the pelvis and you breathe in and breathe out. So bottom arm pulling, top arm pulling. Inhale, exhale. Taking our top arm when you're ready, right over and stretching through the chest. You don't want your shoulder to shrug up to your ear. You want that shoulder into your back and you want to try to get that side body stretch, a little bit cleaner, a little more breath awareness, and then release it back down into plank position. So you guys come right back into plank. And from your plank position, you hug the belly in super, super strong. So you want to keep activating through the glutes, core is strong, keep that low back lifted, and come down as you stay lifted in the low back. Elbows in really tight, draw the back legs nice and long, and lift. So also gonna warm up through inner thighs. Coming right down. And try that again. Elbows in, find your lift through the crown of the head. Inhale up. Now two more of these, you're gonna stretch those legs a little straighter and stronger. So you pull your inner thighs, 
as you start to lift a little higher and come down. And one more time, get that lift, inner thigh strong and come down. Press yourself back to plank. So we'll push ourselves up, ooh yeah, and then into downward dog. So we're gonna reach back into downward dog. Bend your knees a little just to adjust your pelvis and pull the hips back. And you wanna pull the hips evenly back. So the shoulders are down the back, really start to work the tops of the scapula down into your back and firm them up against the back. Breathing in, breathing out. Shake out through the head as you inhale and exhale. Now, when you guys lift your right leg up, pay attention to what's happening at the pelvis and at that sacrum, okay? So you lift the right leg up, keep those hips even. Breathe in, breathe out. You're gonna keep it nice and even as you tuck the knee into the chest, squeeze the shin, and try that again. Go back, breathe in, tuck it forward, breathe out. Try right, two more, breathe in, Stretch high, breathe out. One more time, breathe in and breathe out. And step that foot forward. So we're gonna come right up here. And here we come into our inner thigh activation. So again, even out your pelvis, nice and strong, and bring your back leg down. So you guys reach back for your inner thigh, right? Uh, right behind you. So it's, you can reach here, but really we're trying to get that inner thigh to lift back. And we're gonna to start to squeeze that inner thigh up into that lift. So as you pick up your foot, you don't wanna squeeze so much from the hamstring, but you're almost like pulling from that inner thigh, it feels like groin, inner thigh, or pulling behind you to lift through that leg. And then you'll reach the arms back. If you can grab your foot with one hand, maybe the other, go for it. If not, don't worry about it. Just try to pull from inner thigh and try to release any tightness at the front of the hip. Belly's in, hips are nice and even. Slowly release that down and then pick up that back knee. And again, you're pulling your inner thigh to the sky. Your left hand goes down, your right arm goes up. So you wanna hug into the groins. You wanna keep that pelvis even. You don't wanna slant the sacrum, okay? So keep it nice and even, flat to the floor as you come into your rotation. Squeeze your elbow back a little bit more for three. Squeeze the elbow back, chest open, two, and one, come back down into plank. So strong through the core, exhale, come down. Inhale, legs strong, inner thighs strong. Pull the body up, pull those inner thighs up and back. Exhale into downward dog, even out the hips throughout the movement. As you breathe in, breathe out. Shoulders down the back, hollow out the armpits, shake out through the head. Let's bring our left leg up. And again, try to keep the hips squared. Try to keep the pelvis even, right? And trying to keep that joint of the hip nice and healthy. So if you start to slant around back there, do your best to even it out, and then we'll tuck it in. So again, keep an even through the sacrum as you tuck in, and then reach back. And again, squeeze the belly and the hip, and reach back. And two more, you guys, all focused on the pelvis. And reach back. And last one, and then we'll tuck it in and step it forward. So if you get stuck like that, you can use your hand to help you, but push off that back leg and drop the back knee down. So again, as you come up here, figure out what's happening with those two points. One's higher than the other. Try to fix it up there. Keep it nice and strong. Pay attention to this inner thigh of this back leg. So you're trying to pull your inner thigh back. And as you pull it back, see if you can lift by squeezing that inner thigh back. Maybe reach for the foot with one hand or two and just keep pulling from that inner thigh. And you wanna open up the front of your hip as you do that, strengthening through the glute, inner thighs, keep that pelvis nice and even. And releasing it down and go ahead and bring that right hand down. <clears throat> bring that right leg up. Again, you lift from that inner part of your thigh up to the sky. Keep encouraging that. Hips even and bring that left arm up. So we breathe. Now pull your elbow back, that left elbow back. Keep pushing from the elbow. Try not to slant that back. For four, 
three, two, and one. Come back down into plank and just come into hands and knees position and just work into your cat and cow. So wrists under shoulders and you round in through the back. Again, paying attention to those two points, keeping them nice and even. And then we release and we drop down right here into the two points and lift through the chest. And try that a few times. Suck into the belly and lift your belly up, navel to the chest, chest to the chin, and keep that lift as you keep rocking from cat to cow. And just keep doing that. Just keep moving from cat to cow. And don't worry if you can't feel if they're perfectly aligned. It's really not about that. You're just starting to connect your mind and your body together. And one more time, get that nice inhale. And exhale. We're gonna hold it right into neutral. And again, right here at the base of the spine is gonna move right to left. So again, you think of like you have a paintbrush on your tail and you're trying to paint the wall behind you from side to side but just from that pelvis. And you're just trying to open up right to left. And then you're gonna to start to bring your ear to the hip, right? And you're gonna just start to move through the neck. And again, we opened up that neck first thing this morning. So hopefully you get that nice open feeling. It doesn't take much, you know, to open the neck, but you know, you wanna have a good little practice there. And one more time. Now you're gonna hold your hip to one side, doesn't matter which side, but pull your hip as much as you can to get that stretch and then turn to look at your hip. So look up over your shoulder and see if you can keep bringing your hip into view and stretch that opposite side of your body. Keep your inner thighs nice and strong. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So you move your hips all the way to the other side and then look up and over and see if you can get your hip into view. Keep moving your hip and stretch into this opposite side of the body. Breathe and breathe out. All right, bring it right into center, neutralize through the hips, lift the belly up into the chest, shoulders down against the back. Let's bring that right leg up. And we're focusing on activating our inner thigh here of the right leg while we keep that pelvis steady. So you're gonna lift from your inner thigh and go and move. So we go eight, seven, six. Keep lifting, the stronger that gets, the more you'll stretch the front of your hips for four, three, two and then you'll tuck in so you're going to squeeze in squeeze the belly and then stretch up and back and lift the head one and squeeze in two and squeeze three again all from the inner thigh keeping the pelvis strong and four and then we'll bring that knee down right underneath your hip you guys make sure it's right under the hip and keep everything aligned as you bring second leg up right and so we'll bring it up, inner thigh strong, navel is in, and we start to lift. So again, we strengthen the inner thigh and you're pulling and it helps to stretch out through the psoas and the hip flexors. So keep getting that inner thigh stronger, belly lifts, and everything stays aligned for four, three, two, and then we'll tuck that in. So we squeeze in from that inner thigh, keep that pelvis strong for one, and you go a little deeper each time. Two, three, and one more, and four. Beautiful job, okay. So we're gonna come back into plank, adjust those hands, bring your feet back, and get your feet to the outsides of the yoga mat. Squeeze through the glutes as you breathe in and breathe out. Come all the way down with the elbows in, chest forward, turn your toes out, Press the hands by the rib cage, elbows in super strong, and lift up through the chest and everything up. Now you wanna pull those inner thighs strong and back as you're opening up and lift, head back, two and one. Lower everything down, bring your feet back into hip width and press yourself into downward dog. So reach back. So from our downward dog, we're gonna take our right leg up again, pay attention to the pelvis, try to keep them nice and aligned. So the back of your left hip is anchored and that right leg goes way up high. So kick from your inner thigh. So rather than from your foot, pull a little more from your inner thigh. Then bend the knee and pull that inner thigh back a little bit more. Really give the stretch. 
and then tuck that knee in and step it forward. Use your yoga blocks for your hands here if you need them. And that back heel can be up if you need to, and that's fine coming into pyramid. Now the hips will usually slant over to the side on this, so I want you guys to do your best to align the hips, align the sacrum, and just keep trying to strengthen your legs, your inner thighs, as you come down. So it's that forward fold we did at the beginning, right, with your attention is on that sacrum and that lower back while you're trying to strengthen the legs. Breathe in, breathe out. So that kneecap lifts as much as you can. Shoulders down the back, neck and jaw, nice and relaxed. So listen to your breathing, easy breathing. Beautiful, okay, so we're gonna bend that front knee and you're gonna slide that back leg back into that crescent lunge. Again, this inner thigh is lifted, that back inner thigh is lifted. Now this is your right leg in front, so we're gonna turn to the right, so I'll be turning away from you for a second, but your feet are gonna spin. So you're gonna be on the sides of your feet, both of them. And you just come on up and lift. And again, you wanna do your best to align that back as you open up and strengthen your inner thighs, strengthen your upper back and your belly. Pull that elbow back more for three, two, and one. Beautiful. Let's unwind and lunge to your back leg. So you're going to stretch back and you're going to walk your hands back to that back leg too. So your right leg is straight and you're pulling in her thigh. And again, hips are aligned and you're working this inner thigh, this back leg inner thigh. You're pulling that inner thigh back and see if you can get a little more strength in there as you tone the belly. For three, keep pulling it back, two, and one. Beautiful, let's step forward again and walk into your plank. Woo all right. So keep that back nice and long and strong, elbows in and press back. Down to the ground, inhale, and inner thigh strong, back nice and strong. Head back, exhale to downward dog. So reach back again. So again, spread your fingers, dropping that head through. And let's start to push just a bit before we go into side two. Uh, as you align the back and the belly lifts, so hollow out your belly, lift it toward your chest. Try to move your upper back through your arms toward your toes. So move your upper back through your arms, push your elbows forward. So away from your feet, push your elbows forward. So your arms feel like they're going behind your head and that head and chest is coming down for three. Try to maintain that, you guys, too, as you bring that left leg up to the sky. Pelvis strong. Oh, yeah. Make sure you're not slanting your pelvis. So if you misalign, you have a weakness in the sacrum, your hip will fall over to one side when you do these one-legged things, right? So you want to keep that alignment, kick that leg up, and bend that knee in the air while you keep your alignment. You're just trying to squeeze from your inner thigh. Remember that to get your bend. Keep trying to go for that, two and one. And then we'll step that leg forward for our pyramid pose and go for the blocks. You know, use your, what you need to. Align everything. So from the back, from the pelvis, from the SI joint. It'll set from the base, it'll set the tone for the rest of your spine, going all the way up to the top of your head. So you wanna keep it aligned and then work your forward bend with the tone leg. Get that chest coming down as you breathe in and breathe out. Try to go for it, you guys, for three, two, and one. And then we'll step into that front foot, slide your back leg back. This is the twisty one. Your right hand comes down. You're gonna go on the side edge of your feet. So turn to the side of your front foot, turn to the side of the back foot. Keep the pelvis alive. Now adjust your chest, lift your arm, go for it. Just start to get that reach, that's good. Push your elbow back again as you do that. Don't let your ribs pop out. Keep working your hips into a lift and of course into alignment. As you breathe in, breathe out, inner thigh strength. Two and one. Slowly unwind and get ready for skandas. And I'm gonna to turn to face you guys, so just stay right there. I'm just turning around. Okay, so you're gonna change from your front foot 
to your back foot. So you're going to come into Skandasana. So you're going to go to your back leg and your hands can come with you. So this, of course, inner thigh is pulling, but I want us to think about this inner thigh of the right leg. Pull that back and start to really work into your release of the hips, right? So you breathe deeply and keep pulling into the hips for three, two, and one. All right, let's go back to the front leg and come into your forward bend. You're gonna step in, bring your feet together, legs are gonna be straight, and you are gonna go ahead and wrap your hands back around and let your belly come down over your legs. Yep, good. And let your chest come down, you got it. And let that neck come down. So keep your upper back nice and strong. Breathe in, breathe out. From here we go into chair pose, pay attention to the hips as you come up. All right, so in this chair pose, neck relaxes back, sacrum nice and strong. And then we inhale and drive up. Again, keep the alignment of the pelvis. Your inner thighs are pulling backwards. Inner thighs pulling backwards as you come into your back bend. So you can let the neck drop. If you can imagine that towel or strap around your neck like we did at the beginning. And as the arms reach up overhead, you are working that strength. So inner thighs back, sacrum aligned, lift your belly, neck is supported while the head drops back. For three, just breathe you guys, two and one. And we're gonna come over and drop your right hand to the leg here and anchor your left foot down. So you're gonna start to come a little bit deeper into this stretch. And again, you want it more here. So more about lifting the chest or unsticking the chest from the oblique here, from that area there. So pull that chest, you can use your hand if you want to, to pull it. Don't let your elbow come forward if you can help it. Just keep moving the elbow back behind to get that stretch. So you're stretching here, but then you come down to the hip as well. So you're pulling that side of the hip. Again, inner thighs nice and strong. Pull a little bit deeper, two and one. And we rise up and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So bring that hand down, press into your feet so that right outer foot, the edge is pressing down and we start to come over. And again, unglue the chest, unstick the chest. Go for that stretch. So as you're unsticking the chest, we kind of use this area too much. So remember that you want to come up to the chest and pull from there and then start to unstick the hip. Breathe in, breathe out. Go for it, you guys, two and one. And we'll bring the arms nice and open. Come and have a seat. Cross your right leg over, cross your right arm under. So a quick little eagle bind. Okay, now that you unstuck the chest, you're gonna think about trying to lift the chest up elbows up and now that you unstuck the hips and you're understanding how that sacrum should be aligned you're going to try to draw the sides of the hips down into your seat so you're going to lift the chest and sink the hips so the sides of the waist get long for three two now you're going to lean forward and stick your butt out so it's a soaring eagle so you lean forward and stick your butt out keep everything aligned for three two and one as you unwind we lift up that leg and we come into balancing half moon so that leg goes back and your right hand go left hand goes down and you turn to the side so you're trying to again stabilize the sacrum lengthen and lift the chest strengthen your inner thighs as you breathe in and breathe out Beautiful. Mindfully come back into the center. Bring your feet back together. Inner thighs strong. Lift, lift, lift. Lift through the chest. Open up through the arms as you breathe out. Come into eagle bind on this side. So left leg comes over. Left arm goes under. And again, it's the same thing. Your chest is lifting up. The sides of the hips are pulling down. Navel is in. So continue to lift your chest. And of course, pull your elbows forward. Just the same way we always do eagle pose. Two, and then soaring eagle. So you come forward with the chest and stick your butt out. Squeeze a little deeper. And one, and you come up and unwind for balancing half moon, out of Chandrasana. So you bring that right hand down and that left arm up. Use the block or the chair, whatever you need to, right? 
And you're gonna come into your alignment of your back, the lift of the chest, and the strength of your inner thighs. And continue breathing as you try to turn the chin, the chest, whatever you can without falling. And then release back into your forward fold. So you're going to come all the way down into forward fold, come into halfway lift, and step back into plank. So we come into plank again and come down to the ground. Make sure your elbows um, stay over the wrists and your shoulders come forward the best you can. Inhale, coming up. See those inner thighs feeling a little bit looser. Exhale into downward duck. So we're gonna pull back and again, try to push the shoulders open and down your back. Try to push your chest through to the feet. Align everything. Right leg's coming up and this is again really key here to keep that sacrum aligned as you turn your thigh out. And you wanna squeeze open like from that inner thigh. So you turn that right knee open and keep the alignment of the pelvis. Try not to turn your shoulders or anything like that. So you're just gonna try to rock a little lift here and just try to strengthen from your inner thighs as you pump up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we'll step that leg forward and just take a quick, quick warrior two, just for a setup here. And again, inner thighs strong. Use your hands if you need to for your pelvis, hips down and aligned and chest nice and open. All right, so just get that nice nice reach right there. I'm gonna straighten out through the leg. And again, inner thigh strong. And your pelvis is gonna turn on this one. The glute's gonna be strong. And you're gonna lift up and open. And just keep working into the glute. And you wanna keep pushing your butt forward and keep pushing that arm back. And take this top arm behind if you want to for a half bind to open up chest and shoulder. And again, let your neck go back. Draw the belly in, inner thigh straight. Two and one. Inhale, lift up, nice and open. And this front leg stays straight. You reach back to your back leg. Again, you wanna try to align everything in the back, pelvis, inner thighs, and chest. And you go as far back as you can while you step into the toes of the front foot. Kneecap strong, keep pulling that elbow back and over, chest over, just like we did in our side bend with the feet together. Two and one. And we'll rise up and just turn the toes in the direction you're facing. Get as wide as you can with your feet without feeling like you're gonna fall. Okay, so nice and wide. And again, hips aligned and you start to come down. You wanna keep the sacrum aligned. You can put your hands on it if you want to, but start to move your pelvis upside down. So the top of the hips now are coming down and the bottom of the hips are flexing open and we're working in through that. So you guys are going to start to reach through the legs 